Welcome back. In today's session, we will be looking at the top 15 Microsoft Word tips and tricks every educator should know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhuma Nikola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. Tip number one, every time you open your Microsoft Word, do you see a startup menu that pops up just like this? Now, this is how you disable it. You go to your options, you scroll all the way down until you find show the start screen when the application starts. Make sure you uncheck that and click OK. Now, when you open your new Microsoft Word, the startup screen does not show up. Now, if you want to go back, all you have to do is click on file. Tip number two, how to customize and use various options of your ribbon in your Microsoft Word. So this tab right here is called your ribbon. And if you like me and if you get distracted by all of this, then here are your tips. You're going to scroll all the way to the right hand side. You're going to click on this arrow and here you have an option to completely not see your ribbon by clicking on full screen mode. Boom, the ribbon's gone. If you want it back, simply scroll all the way to the top and click on this tab. And here is your ribbon. Or you have an option to simply show the tabs. When I click on the tabs, as you can see, I don't see the whole ribbon, but I just see the tabs. So when I click on home, here is my home tab. When I click on insert, here is my insert tab. Or you can click on this little arrow and make sure your ribbon is always available. Now you can also customize your ribbon by simply right clicking on your ribbon and click customize ribbon. And here you can go ahead, pick all the commands and add the one that you want. So for now, let's go ahead and add, add a new placeholder. Here you go, I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna scroll this so you can see. I'm gonna click add. It's gonna ask me to create a group. I'm gonna create a group. I don't wanna name it. Click add, click okay. And as you can see, here is my new add a placeholder tool in my ribbon. Now, let's just say you don't want the entire ribbon available to you all the time, but you have certain tools that you use constantly like me. Now, all you have to do is go to that tool. So here is my format painter. I use this very often. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add it to my quick access toolbar. There you go. And I also use fill colors. I'm going to right click, add to quick access toolbar. So from my insert tab, I use this quick parts. So I'm gonna add that to quick access toolbar. In my design, I like to have page borders. I'm gonna right click and add it to quick access toolbar. Now, once all of this is done, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna say show tabs only where I see the tabs, but at the same time, I see all my favorite tools in my quick access toolbar. Tip number three is how to quickly format your entire document. As you can see, I have text with different colors, fonts, shapes, and sizes. What I'm going to do first is to select my entire document, Control A, and then press Control Space. And there you have it. My entire document has been formatted to the default font and size. Tip number four is Smart Select. Did you know you can hover over any word in your Word document, double click, and the word is automatically selected? Let's just try the word complement. I'm gonna hover over it, double click, and the word has been selected. Now, if you wanna select an entire sentence, press and hold your control button and click on the sentence that you wanna select. Let's try one more. Let's just say I wanna select this sentence. Control, press and hold your control, click on the sentence. It's gonna copy from the starting of the sentence to the period. Now, if you wanna select the entire paragraph, click three times, one, two, three. There you go, the paragraph has been selected. Tip number five is smart spacing. Let me go ahead and select my entire document here once the document has been selected. If I need two line spacing, I press and hold my control button and number two, there you go. If I want 1.5 line spacing, I press and hold my control button and number five. If I want a one line spacing, I press and hold my control button and number one, there you go. Control one for one line, control two for two line, control five for one and a half line. Tip number six, Format Painter, my favorite tool. Let's just say I want to change the first two words of every paragraph to red color, change the font to Algerian, increase the font and underline it. Now, it's really hard for me to go to every paragraph and do the same thing. So what I would do is highlight or select 
and then double click on the format painter let me show it. i double clicked yes so you double click on your format painter and make sure your mouse now looks like a paintbrush as you can see my mouse now looks like a paintbrush and once that's done go to the text that you want and hover over it and here's the magic happening and there you go all i have to do is as long as i see a paintbrush simply hover over the text that you want to change to the format that you want so technically your format painter copies that format and transfers it to everywhere you hover over or select tip number seven how to easily draw lines in your word document you simply type in your minus sign three times and press enter for a line there you go you want a thicker line press your underscore three times and enter thicker line you want a double line press your equal to sign three times and enter tip number eight is how to easily insert a bullet point into your word document all you have to do is star and space and there's your bullet tip number nine is how to quickly enter your date and time in your word document all you have to do is press shift alt and d for date enter shift alt and t for time so this will give you the time and date of your system tip number 10 is how to sign your word document and save your signature for future use so here i am on my word document i'm going to click on draw and i'm going to select let's say this colorful galaxy pen and here i'm going to sign my name that's my signature and once I signed, I'm going to select my signature. I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to scroll all the way to the right until I find this little box here that says explore quick parts. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to save my selection. I'm going to save it under the gallery. I'm going to check auto text and I'm going to give this a name, SIG and sign. And I'm going to click OK and yes. And once this is done, your signature has been saved in your Word document. Now let's just open a new document. I'm going to click on insert. And if you want to insert your signature, you're going to click on this auto text. And here is your fancy signature. Now you can take it a step further. And let me just show you what I did. I have a real signature where I have my name and my social media links. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here is my name and social media. So you can type it with whatever font you want, have your pictures, link them as you can see and select all of this and go to your quick parts and save it like we did. Now you can also have a whole paragraph or a letter if you're a teacher and you can save the entire document or that paragraph in your quick selections and insert it every time you want tip number 11 clipboard of course everybody knows how to copy and paste but did you know there's a clipboard option in your microsoft word where you can copy multiple things and paste them in the order that you want let's go ahead and try that out here under my home tab here is this little clipboard let me go ahead and expand the clipboard let me clear everything first and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy them in different order so i'm going to copy this and i am going to copy this i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy as you can see i'm copying randomly in different order and once i copied here is my clipboard so this clipboard gets carried over to all your documents so let me go ahead and open a brand new document and here i have my clipboard i can close it i can expand it and now i can paste it in the order that i want so i'm going to go ahead and paste this one first scroll up paste this next scroll down paste this again and maybe this and this and this so that's how you use your clipboard tip number 12 is translating your word document into the languages that microsoft has to offer so here i am on my word document i'm going to click on review tab and here under your language let's go ahead and click on that here you have this translate icon let's go ahead and click on translate you have an option to translate a section or selection of your document or your entire document let's try selection first let me go ahead and select mm, let me go ahead and select this one here and i'm going to change it to hebrew why not click insert i'm going to select this paragraph and i'm going to change it to let me see if i have chinese yeah traditional chinese there you go so you have an option to select your entire document or sections of your documents and translate. Now, if you want to 
change your entire or translate your entire document, all you have to do is language translate and translate entire document or here on your right hand side, if you click document, it translates your entire document. So let's just translate our entire document to French and click translate. There you go. I don't know if that's correct, but that's French language for you. So this could be useful if you're an educator and you have your newsletters. You can change your newsletters to multiple languages depending on the diversity of your school or your class. Now let's go back to review, translate, translate the entire document to English. Let me change it back. While we are translating our documents into different languages, let's go ahead and see the next tip, which is Immersive Reader. Here on my Word document, when I click on the View tab, here you see your Immersive Reader. I have a whole complete video on what the Immersive Reader can do. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box where you can take a look. So here's my Immersive Reader. I can, have, I can change the page color to whatever colors I want. I can change the column width to very narrow, narrow, moderate, or wide, as you can see. I can have a line focus to one line. I can have to three lines or I can have to five lines. I can even have text spacing. As you can see, I even have an option to read the document loud. I can even change the reading speed. I can change it to male or female. Now, you can use your translate and use your immersive reader so that document is translated and read in different languages. So let me close my immersive reader and here I'm back into my document. Tip number 14 is using ink to math and ink to shape feature, my favorite again. This feature allows you to freehand draw your shapes and your equations and the AI tool automatically changes them into perfect shapes and perfect equations. Let's take a look at that feature. So I'm going to click on the draw tab here and here I'm going to click on ink to math. And as you can see, when I click on ink to math, this little tab opens up and here I'm going to write 2x squared minus 4x cubed plus 5x to the power 5 divided by, I'm just going to say square root. Does that work? Yeah. x squared minus 4x minus 2. The whole thing is equal to square root of x over x squared plus 3. And once this is done, I'm going to click insert. There you go. And I'm going to select this whole thing, click on home tab. I can increase the size. And there I have my perfect math equation. Now let's go ahead and try ink to shape. So this is my ink to shape. I'm going to take my tool here. This is my perfect circle. There you go. This is my perfect square. There you go. And this is my perfect triangle. There you have it. Tip number 15 is embedding other documents inside your Microsoft Word document. What do I mean by that? You can embed a word inside a word. You can embed a PowerPoint. You can embed a PDF or Excel files. Let me show you how. So here I'm on my Word document. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert. And all the way to the right hand side here, I'm going to click on this little square inside a square. And I'm going to click on object. And once I click here, I can create a brand new document from all these options, but I want to go ahead and insert a document that I have already created. So I'm going to click on create from file. I'm going to browse and I am going to insert my graph of secant worksheet, which is a PDF document. And I'm going to select that, click insert. I want to display that as an icon. So my students know it's a PDF inside a word. And then I'm going to click OK. And here is your PDF document embedded inside your Word document. Now let's go back to the object, insert object. Let me click on the object, create from a file, browse, scroll all the way down. And here I am going to insert a PowerPoint. I'm going to click on course roadmap, insert. You can display this as a link to the file or display this as an icon and click OK. And now when I click on the PDF document, the PDF opens up. Let me go ahead and close it. When I click on the PowerPoint, 
the PowerPoint opens up. Let me go ahead and click Escape. And there you have it. You can embed a Word inside a Word, PDF inside a Word, PowerPoint inside a Word, Excel file. And you can take a look at all the list of files that you can embed inside the Word document. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few Microsoft tips. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators are always looking for tips and tricks. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology, Canvas, and other playlists. Do not forget to check them out. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there is a favorite tip of yours that I missed. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.